In this video, we're going to go over how you go about trimming and changing the timing of clips in Media Composer 6. Now here we have, again, a rough cut with some audio. And we may want to have a transition or cut happen at a certain point when the music makes a transition. So here, for example, so when it makes that sound, maybe those are the points where we want a cut to be made. Instead, it's happening here and it's happening here. So in this case, it's happening early. In this case, it's happening late. So we'll go ahead and do a ripple or a roll edit. In Media Composer 6, you will select one of your tools and the Smart Tool palette here. And we can select to do an overwrite trim or a ripple trim. Now the difference is that if you do a ripple trim, the timeline will move back and forth, left and right. Whereas you do an overwrite trim, you will leave a gap. That will depend on which way you go on the edit point. So for example, if I were to select my overwrite trim, and I will to select in between these two, it selects a roll. Now here you should not have a gap because we're not selecting one side. If we were to have selected one side only, for example, if I were to select to the right of my edit point, then you will have a gap. So I'll go ahead and show you that. If I were to move here, and there's my gap. I would to select on this side and do that, it will also leave a gap. But because I selected both sides, it's a roll edit, and a roll means that it is moving the edit point left or right and pulling on whatever media is available to me, meaning the handle frames that are available. So in this case, I will go ahead and move this point to here where the transition happens of my music. So I will go ahead and drag that to this point. And I will do the same for this one. If I remember correctly, this was the point where there was a transition in the music. So if I were to play this now, I'll go ahead and turn off my tool. If I were to play this now, I should see my cut at the time of the music changing. And that's how you get to trim so you can go ahead and edit to a more precise point. Another functionality that you can do with trimming is to go ahead and create a slip edit. Now, a slip edit, you have to use the same tool, but you will double click inside of the particular clip that you wish to move. So here, for example, I have a minivan, a silver or gray vehicle and then you have a red vehicle pass by. Let's say I don't want to see this vehicle, I just want to see the red one. So I'm going to go ahead and select my tool again and I will double click inside of this clip here. And once I do that you will notice that both sides, I should say, both insides of this clip have been selected. 
and here you will see on the left hand side in the top window left hand side is the outgoing clip inside is the beginning of this clip the ending of this clip which is the center clip here and then the beginning of the next incoming clip these two windows are the only ones I'm going to pay attention to as a matter of fact only this window is the one that matters to me because I want to make certain that this vehicle is out of the picture literally so I'm going to select here and I'm going to move this until I see this vehicle go out Now once I do that, I should just see just the red vehicle come into the picture. Now here I have a little bit of shadow of that car, so if I want to move that just a little bit more, uh, maybe that point right there. Now I can select outside, I've deselected the edit and now uh, if I were to click on here the red vehicle is the only vehicle that's shown in the video and that's how you perform trimming modes in Media Composer 6 in particular the roll and the slip tool if you wish to use the ripple you will select on the ripple trim tool and let's say I want to adjust this portion here and if I were to drag to the right this should shorten my video clip which it does so it shortens my video clip but it leaves the audio by itself and the reason for this is by the way is because the audio is not linked to the video they're separate clips if the audio belonged to the video clip it will also have gotten shortened unless you unlink the two now this is usually called an L cut because it's the shape of an L so here's the short video but a long audio if I wanted to have another video come in here then I would have done so and again this kind of edit would have been called an L cut and that's how you perform a ripple trim remember the timeline will move left and right according to which side of the tool or the edit you select this is Louis Sierra for Chesapeake Systems. Thanks for watching.